Hey everyone, it's me again, Aquastar. I am finally back from India. I've been in India for about, including the travel, about 11 days, because it was like a day to fly there and it, like a day, and almost over a day, like over a day to come back. So, oh my gosh, it was amazing. Um, my boyfriend lives there. And so first I landed in Hyderabad, India. That's like right in the middle of India. And I was there for about three or four days. And then on February 9th, we flew out to Goa. Goa is a state in India that's kind of like Florida is in the United States. It's kind of like a vacation state. A lot of tourists there. Um, we went to this really nice beach resort called the Riva. And we had a cottage and everything was so amazing. I'll go on and insert some pictures here. The, it was literally right by the beach. Like our cottage was right in front of this little like river that had a little walk, walk across bridge. We would walk across that. And then you're right on the beach and I swam in the ocean. I've never even been to a beach or to an ocean. So being able to swim in one, one was just like amazing to me. Um, it was the Arabian Sea, so I swam in the Arabian Sea. Yes! Yes! So it was amazing. We had a great time. I've just gotten back. I haven't done a water change yet, and the fish are doing great. It's been almost two weeks since they've gotten a water change. Everybody's just fine. Everybody's acting normal. And if any of you remember, this tank is brand new. Um, even the filters are now recycling. They were completely uncycled when I left. Um, of course, my mom and dad didn't do no water changes when I was gone. However, I did teach my mom how to dose with Sea Kim Safe. She did that a couple different times while I was gone. She wasn't feeding them every day. I, I left her a note exactly how to feed them. Um, I had them eating about every other day or every two days. All they had was blood worms. Um, and obviously it worked. <laughs> yeah, so this tank isn't even cycled. My fish have almost been two weeks with no water change. Let's look at them. These guys and this tank. This tank is not cycled. This one is. This one is, but this one isn't. Let's see how these guys are doing. Their tails look really good. I see no fraying, no splitting. They are acting normal. They've been begging for food. Swimming around, very active. Yeah, so I mean, yeah, you can actually see where the water's like came down some from it dehydrating. <laughs> oh God. Or uh, evaporating. But yeah, they're doing good. Their tank looks good. They look good. Wow. So before I left, I actually did tell my mom, um, and of course I was talking to her about every day, every other day, um, asking her about the fish. Uh, I told her, I said, if in the 55 gallon in the smaller tank, if any of those fish start acting lethargic, if when you go in there, if they're staying at the bottom or staying at the top, not moving around, not really eating, I, I gave her the net. I showed her where the fish net was because she couldn't pick them up with her hands. Mom just couldn't. Um, I said, you're, you know, you're going to have to get them out and move them in the 125 because the 55 isn't cycled yet. And if they're acting like they're kind of sick, it's probably because their water is really bad. So, but in any case, no, they're, they're fine. This water hasn't been changed. It's been almost two weeks and this tank is not cycled. Go figure. I don't know. We've always had really good luck with goldfish and my family, um, me and my dad. I don't know if it's the, our water. We have very good well water. I don't know what, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but we have always had pretty good luck with goldfish. They seem to do quite well. Look at Nesbitt. Look at his towel. Pretty. Little Kumba doing good, been begging, wiggling back and forth. Little fat thing. And now these guys over here are doing good too. Of course, old truffles. When I came home last night and I went up to her gut, she was flopping around. Just a flopping and a smacking. Look at it, smack. Her mouth going a mile a minute. I'm pretty sure they got pretty close to mom. One thing I did notice about the fish in this tank is they're all, in this one particular, is all, uh, well, not all of them, but a few of them are actually looking bigger than when I left. Uh, crumpets down here is looking a little bit bigger than when I left. Um, my little Jack Jack fish is definitely going through some of his growth spurts. He's getting big and glorious. 
He's supposed to be in Aranda. He really doesn't have much of head growth, if at head growth at all. That's okay. I still think he's beautiful. Um, Loki is actually becoming very large, very large, and he's getting a lot of wind growth. He's getting like a goose head on him. He's got some wind, wind growth right now, those little white patches. And I'm, I'm sure it's probably from all the bloodworms he's been eating. I'm going to switch him off the bloodworms for probably a week or two, get him on some uh, gel food and get some more nutrients into them. I just did the blood worms with mom because it was really the easiest. The cubes and stuff, it just was the easiest. And it does seem like blood worms aren't as messy. Um, they're, you know, they, the fish see, they're easy to see for the fish. Bright red, the fish go crazy over them. They make sure they get every piece. Whereas if I had have had my mom also giving them pellets, uh, pellets, you know, just disintegrate into the water very quickly. They make the water very nasty. They're notor notorious. Pellets are notorious for getting underneath ornaments like this and this and, and harboring underneath their big piles of just brown gunk. Um, that's very toxic. Um, so that's one reason why I, I, yeah, one reason why I picked the blood worms for mom to, and my dad to be feeding my fish while I'm gone is they're just easier to feed. You know, I wrote down notes for her, you know, like on this day, give the big tank six cubes of worms and but don't feed the 55 gallons so I did that and obviously and she followed it obviously it did pretty good nobody's floaty nobody's ate too much everybody's happy obviously the water's okay or they would be acting like they don't feel good but yeah uh, so I'll get back to <laughs> my spotlight series soon guys don't worry I'm gonna be making an episode soon I was just really busy the last couple weeks before I left. Uh, I was trying to get everything in order. I had never even flew on an airplane at all, like even domestic, even in the U.S. So I was really nervous about that. I was like researching online and stuff about it. It ended up being a lot more simple than what I thought it would be. But anyway, guys, thanks for sticking with me. Sorry I've been gone for so long and I'll be getting up on my videos soon. So just give me some time. All right, guys, everybody have a wonderful day, wonderful weekend, and I will see you, like, so soon. Bye.